so uh, this video is for a very dear friend and also to, to other people who, who are pretty much going through the same thing um, we live in very very interesting times and uh, what's happening is a lot of people are now starting to see through things and, and you know, there's a lot of people waking up and with that comes this urge or this need or this want or this desire whatever you want however you want to put it to actually be more authentic to themselves and actually do what they want to do um, which brings up another set of challenges because yes you may be the most realized master of the universe um, but when you want to communicate about this or do something more authentic what you find is it's a new set of challenges and a new opportunity to, to grow and that can bring up all sorts and the, the one bit that brings up which a lot of people don't really talk about that much because it's all so blissful and wonderful um, is the invariable bad days that can happen so you know you can get up out of bed in the morning and you are living your dream the way you want to be and yet you know you just don't want to get out of bed you're having a bad day people are jumping on you um, you're wondering why you even do what you do and and, and that can bring up a, a lot of challenges because let's face it doing something like this can be really exciting um, and real fun and you get to meet some amazing people and it's a complete blessing but it can also be a very lonely existence it can also be an existence where you're completely vilified for for just trying to say your bit um it's amazing how we all want people to be positive and yet when people are positive or when people do something good we tend to be the first people to attack them so i see a lot of posts you know on facebook about people talking about teachers when they started out and you know how they were vilified but look how amazing they are um but you know you know look how amazing they are but you ask yourself the question if you were there in that time would you have been one of those people throwing the bricks at that poor unfortunate soul just trying to talk talk their truth so that can lead for the person who's trying to obviously do what they need to do that can lead to a, a lot of agitation questioning and sometimes even doubting that what they're doing is right so you know to this dear friend and to others doing this you know don't give up keep going if you believe in what you're doing then yes you will have bad days and one bad day doesn't define a lifetime and when you look at it into the grand grand expanse of things uh, or you know when you travel away from it when you look at the bigger picture you're still moving in the right direction and you will get to where you need to get to but you've just got to persist because it's all right knowing this stuff it's all right being you know really good at what you do but the key ingredients here is, is, is a belief in yourself and really really persisting so yes you are going to have bad days yes reach out to friends reach out to family read something inspirational or if you really want to just feel bad just feel bad lie on that sofa lie in bed just observe the feelings or even just go into the feeling as to why you're raging why you're wondering why you want to do this and why you're plotting and planning everybody's death um do that it's allowed because yes okay it's it's all very lovely and wonderful doing what you want to do and oh great it's so amazing you know i quit my job or i'm living authentically now i'm traveling the world but who said there weren't going to be bad days? Who who said that it was just going to be all plain sailing? And it's not all plain sailing. There is a very real horrible dark side to this where, you know, you're just trying to do the right thing. You're just trying to share something that you believe in, that you love, or in however you want to put it. You know, you're trying to offer a service. And you will get haters. You will get people hating you. You get people telling you, who are you? I mean, you know, I'm from the Islamic community. And oh my God, you know, I'm from, I'm from the Muslim community. It's like Islamic community. The Muslim community. And oh, the amount of grief I get on a regular basis is incredible because I don't have a certificate or I don't have a beard. Or or worse still, I, I'm, I'm questioning people. I'm saying things like, you've read this out of a book, but you've never experienced this. Come back to me when you've experienced this. So, yeah, that causes, you know... E e e truth becomes in a sense just its mere presence becomes a question and for some it could be a question that they're really wanting to answer and they're the people who will come around you and recognize you for what you are and they will like be there and want to learn and they'll they'll sit with you and recognize what you are but truth can also be that question that you really don't want to answer so what do we do when we don't understand something what do we want to do we want to attack it and yes people will have goes at you people will tell you who are you to shine your light who are you not to and all you know everything you're going to get the whole gamut of emotions it wasn't ever going to be easy you know it, it there was going to be bits that were going to be hard so the thing is you take the rough with the smooth and you know all told when you look at the bigger picture 
you've got to commend yourself on trying to do something. You know, there's a lot of people out there and, and, you know, more power to them. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. And this is not a way of kind of looking down at them, but they're quite content and happy to just kind of breeze along. And that's fine. That's, that's you. There's nothing wrong with that. But then there's a lot of people who, who, who do wonder, who do look up and think, well, what's this all about? And they carry on with their journeys and, you know, and it can be a lonely path. I don't, I don't care with all the interconnectedness that we have in the world. Sometimes it can be very, very lonely doing what you're doing. And you find that it does take over your life. You know, you are literally 24 seven doing something that you really, really love. And it's like at the beginning, there's, there's, there's a lot of effort for very, very minimal, minimal returns, so to speak. Um, but you have to persist, you have to keep going, um, because if this is what you really want to do, you know, you've seen the other side, so to speak, and if this is what you want to do, then you know, expect it's going to be good, it's going to be bad, you know, there are days where I'm just getting out of bed and thinking, why am I even doing this, what's the point? But then something will happen and I'll spend the rest of my day working away like a madman. But the point is that since I started doing this, you know, what I've found is that Yes, all sorts, of, all sorts of insecurities and fears and worries have come up, but you go through those and I'm a better person for it. Uh, and life is like, in a sense, this continual, continual growth. Yes, when you're doing something you want to do, that growth is maybe that little bit more faster, a bit more short, you know, short, sharp, short, short, sharp, shockish. But again, you know, you, you, you carry on with it, you carry on. So, you know, if you want to feel bad, please feel bad, you know, dive into those emotions, have that day, watch that movie, eat that chocolate, have that ice cream, cry, you know, rant, rave, because as the Sufis say, this too shall pass. And once you realize that passes, and then there's the bliss and the joy and everything, and then that will pass again. You'll realize once you've done a few rounds that it's just emotions, it's not you. You know, it's, I wrote something a couple of days ago on my Facebook about, you know, what you are is unmoved and changed. And that's discovered and then that's when it gets interesting. So keep going, keep going and, you know, keep shining your light. You know, you're exactly the right person to be doing what you're doing.